Hey HTB youth, it's Jess here again. I hope that you are doing really well. Today we want to look at the topic of community. How do we stay in community in this weird time in lockdown? But also, why is community important to the Christian faith? What does the Bible say about it? I'm not sure about you, but when I think of community, I think of physically being with one another, um, being in person, maybe going around to your friend's house or meeting up with them, giving them a big old hug. Now, obviously, in lockdown, we can't do those kind of things and you're not seeing your friends every day at school. So it's really tough. So today I jumped on a Zoom call with one of my best friends, Jazz. Lots of you all know Jazz. She did a talk for us quite a few weeks back now. And she also is one of our incredible young youth volunteers at the 9.30 service. And she sometimes hosts the 4.30 service. Now, me and Jazz are best friends, but Jazz is also currently in Kenya with her mum and her grandma and some of her family there. So we know as well how hard it is to stay in community. So we thought we'd jump on a Zoom call, talk about what does the Bible say about community, but also what are some top tips to stay in community with one another in this really tricky time. So why don't we head over and take a look. I heard Hello. the ding dong. I heard the, you heard the ding dong. It's a nice cute little sound, I love it. It's like a doorbell, but it like is. when you're already in the house. It's, it's so great. cute. How are you doing, Jazz? Oh, I'm doing good, Jess. You know, I just had half an apple tart. That was good. Ooh, I really like your background, okay. that turquoise in the... In the Thank you, this is my bed. Oh my gosh, it's like a princess bed. This is indeed my princess. You know in Shrek, when she's like sitting there and then like Prince Charming like over the thing and the wolf is there, that's what I was going for. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I love that. Thanks yeah. for joining. How are you doing, Jeff? Um, I'm good. Um, I think my washing machine might go off during this. So that's great, I'm glad you're washing thing. your clothes, that's good. Thank you so much. My washing basket was really full. Um, but from what are you not just wearing the same clothes like every day like everyone else's <laughs> um no i actually have jeans on today in lockdown crazy jeans no. i know oh, okay no, i know jeans. crazy <sighs> well should we have a little chat should we have a chat yeah let's do it so i want to talk today about community community mm. in like in faith and what community says talks about in the bible but also how can we do community in lockdown so, if I say to you, what does community mean to you? What are your thoughts? So, I low-key did Latin GCSE. I know. Yes, you did. <laughs> and, like, so com, unity, is literally, like, that's just the two words. And, like, back to the root, it literally means with, with, and then, like, one another. So, like, boom, boom, with one another. And, like, that's literally, like, <laughs> what I think. <laughs> that is wild. Oh my gosh. If, for those of you that don't know, Jazz is going to be a doctor and this has just proved why. Like, who <laughs> that information with one another? That's yeah. sick. Okay. So when I think of community, I think of like physical community. So like being mm. with one another like that. Mm. Okay. That's so cool. Wow. Well, is there any like, are there any Bible verses or anywhere like in the Bible that you think of when you're thinking about kind of community, either pre-lockdown or during lockdown? um so if i was to think of like like the first kind of thought that would come at me of like bible community i think of like feeding the five thousand because that's that's being with a lot of others that's like yeah, jesus and his peeps loved to like eat out not out like in people's houses but like that's like such a community thing like when you go around to someone's house for dinner like i come around to your house for dinner all the time it's great not now no, not now, like pre-lockdown <laughs> but Those yeah um, oh they're so good you just add hot water when you just live your best life like <laughs> you've got, you in a mug. got a mug it's, great. it's so good definitely recommend the macaroni and cheese one but yes yeah, so i would think of like times um when lots of people would gather around like the last supper it can mm. be like a small intimate gathering with your closest mates but it can also be like a huge party with lots of people like the wedding where you turned like water into wine so i think of all those kind of things it's like community Love what that. about you what do you think of like bible community oh. like, bits what do i think about community um yeah, I just think of like Jesus living and breathing with those around him. Like mm -hmm. in my head, it's just so intrinsically like it's just an intrinsic part. But then I mm -hmm. also see like like Jesus often takes himself away from the crowd and like goes and prays with God. And it's like it's it's such an important thing, but it doesn't have to be kind of your everything. So mm -hmm. I think like I'm a massive extrovert. Um you so me and jazz were in a group called fomo which stands for fear of missing out <laughs> lol <laughs> so we all enjoy when i say group i don't mean like band 
We should do a band though. I mean, it was, we were getting, but we had thought of band. The band discussion had been thrown around. We had a manager, percussionist, like we had it all. Just never really happened. Oh, really Keep an eye out on SoundCloud though. Keep an eye hey, out. Come on. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah. So like, I think it's pretty intrinsic to both of us that we don't like missing out on things. Mm-hmm. So I think when I think of community, I can easily think it has to be everything. I have to be with people every single every single second of every single day but then I read the bible and I'm like actually there was like Jesus taking himself away was such an important part of his faith Mm. and so actually I think community doesn't have to always be physical community yeah um there's this guy called Diedrich Bonhoeffer I really hope that it's actually him and I've I haven't got the name wrong um he's like a theologian he wrote some like cool stuff about community and um he spoke about Paul's letters. So in the New Testament, Paul writes loads of letters to like the church and um, like different churches. So he's not physically with them, but Bonhoeffer was like, these letters that Paul wrote would have been like tokens of community. And I think that like, that really helps me in this lockdown time to be like, how can I give someone a token of community when I can't physically Mm. be with them? You know, like you're in Kenya. How do I we, am. How do we do the bracelet? Come on, love that. I mean, there's things like what we're doing now, good old Zoom. The other day, okay, I was definitely posting something else, but I also posted my friend a letter and like... Serious? That's rogue. Yeah. Love that. But I definitely had to send her something anyway, but I just included that. And I feel wow. like, so that kind of like communication, like do you ever like drop someone a random text and you're like, mm. in real life, I probably wouldn't see you, but... um just woke up thinking about it. the other day I woke up thinking about someone I was just like oh I'll just drop her a text and see how she's doing it was great we had a little chat big up Lydia Bingham that was fun so like it's just fun to do that you know so I think yeah maintaining community from like far away is tough especially when we're all just so used to like hanging out but it's definitely something we could do because we've all been doing it like we've been locked down oh we still found our people Oh, Ooh, you, did I just go sketchy? You went, for a, you went sketchy for a little second. Went sketchy for a second. We've been in lockdown for... Uh, for yeah, for a little over two yeah. months now. Um, heading up to March, 16th of March to 16th of April. April wild, May. Almost three months in a week. That's mental. Wow. Um, but like, we've still been chatting to people and I think it's just a matter of like, now it's become more like routine for us to like chat on the phone. I think video calls were like all the craze at the start and then they became a little bit draining. So now I'm a bit more of a voice call person. But yeah, it's definitely possible to keep community. We've got things like the 430 Live, which is so great. Like chatting in the chat is like mood. So yeah, I think we found ways of keeping it alive. So so how would you, have you got any kind of top tips for younger youth to, to take in this kind of crazy time about like maintaining community or... I mean, first of all, I definitely like, I think I want to emphasize that you don't have to be talking to people to be in community with them all the time. Like you can be in community when you're by yourself, but just knowing that you're like going to see someone later or like virtually or like a socially distant like picnic or whatever. So it's not like, I think at the start, lots of us had like, if I'm not on a call like every half an hour, then I'm just not doing anything. So I think Mm. the first tip would definitely be like, don't think that your alone time is like a failure or like, Mm. don't think that when you're by yourself, you're not in community because community doesn't have to be constant like it's just it's just a thing so that would be the first thing like treat your alone time like as special because it is it really is especially if we're all at home with like our parents all the time and if you have a pet then you're with your pet all the time there's a lot going on so treat your alone time as important you still need time to recharge even if we're yeah. all isolated but um secondly diversify who you talk to so like i have one friend that i talk to every day because i read the bible and that's great but other than that, I've like kind of sprinkled out lots of other people at different points in the week. And that is awesome because you just get such a like a mix of flavor. It's like Ooh. a cheese platter with grapes, you know? Wow. And like a salami. Like you've just got different things, you know what I mean? In there, like... Oh, good stuff. Yeah. What are they called? Sorry, sorry. Boards or Side something? charcuterie board. Side note. Did you know that pickled walnuts are a thing? <laughs> No, I did not know that pickled walnuts. So are pickled bananas. And if you want to see something kind of strange, just Google pickled bananas because they just look so odd. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> but, pickled. Oh, pickled oh, they look like slugs. Is that... But, oh. h- 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 why? <laughs> exactly. I don't <laughs> quite understand. Un- wow. Okay. 
Okay. They're all in community in a tin, they are. That's um, that's a pickled banana. That, uh, that uh. is foul. <laughs> hey, if you guys, if any of you young geese eat pickled bananas, send me some in the post. Let, let me know. Please do. Hit Please us up. Do. We'd um, love to know what they taste you like specifically. Something... What they taste like. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, apologize. You mentioned <laughs> something really cool about like you can be in community without being like with other people, and it's like community with God as well. Because mm. like God is, so God is like a triune God, uh, yeah. and so like three in one. Um, so like Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So God in His very nature is community, is relationship. Yeah. Oh, but even if you're taking time out of the, away from the crowd and being like, I just want to spend time with God, you're mm. doing community with God. So that is 100%. Yeah. And actually for me, I know that I don't have enough energy to give out constantly to all of my friends. If I'm not yeah. taking time to work on my community with God, yeah. so actually for me, at least I, tr- I've actually been, <laughs> been pretty good at it to be fair. Um, Come on. Reading um, a verse a day, um, reading a chapter a day of the Old Testament, um, mm-hmm. mainly because younger youth, the Old Testament scares me a little bit, I'm not going to lie to you, um, mainly because it uses quite big words sometimes, and I'm like, True. what's this going on about? So I just thought, you know what, lockdown's going to be the time where I just get into the Old Testament. Um, I so I've been trying to read like a chapter or a couple of verses a day, um, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's my little time with community with God, and then I yeah. can go out and kind of pour from that vessel that Ooh, makes sense. very lovely that's very nice just a sec that's all right oh no someone was just going to the loo how oh, great oh I love yeah that. no i love that but yeah good stuff good stuff hey eh? all right i was just a door <laughs> closing I from my mum. oh i love that hi jazz's mum <laughs> um she'll but, she yeah. would say hi if she could hear you Oh yeah, headphones. Forgot about headphones. No. But yeah, have you got any more kind of tips or encouragements? Maybe okay. So how did you go about messaging Lydia when you didn't like you don't talk to her every day? Okay, great. Yeah. So I'm quite known for prefacing things. I'm always that person who'll be like, "This is a bit random," or "Sorry, this is a bit strange." Rogue one coming up here. So I think definitely like I haven't changed that at all. So I think I messaged her and I was like, "Hey, this is a bit weird," but you were just on my mind the other day and I just thought I'd text you and say hi and it was as simple as that and I think I've done that like two or three times over lockdown and the response has always been oh my gosh that's so sweet oh my gosh you were thinking of me wow people love being thought of guys like young youth if there's one thing I can impart on you people love being thought of so like it can be anything from walking in a shop and you see something for 50p and you're like oh so and so would really love this and you just pick it up they're like mind blown they're like you thought of me like really or like sure. when you hear a song and you think it's great and you send it to your friend be like hey I had this song and I thought you'd like it. They're like, they know me. So definitely mm. just like let people know when you're thinking about them. It's just the best feeling ever. Yeah. And um, it takes a bit of courage. It really does. Like I had a little before I hit send because I was like, oh, she could just leave me on red for like three weeks and I'd have to be okay with that. So mm. um, yeah, just definitely like take a little deep breath. Send a text, be like, hey, how you doing? Normally I'd see you around at like maths class once a fortnight. That's not half a maths class. <laughs> Definitely not. You can but tell we haven't been like, school in a while. See, <laughs> it's been many, many years. <laughs> yeah, just be like, hey, how you doing? And I think that's how we kind of keep our friendships alive. Um, and trust me, you don't have to speak to all your friends every day. Like Jess is absolutely one of my best friends in the whole world. And I speak to her about once a week, sometimes twice. Like today is great. Like today's Wednesday, we're talking and we get to talk again tomorrow. But normally we don't speak on Thursdays. So you don't have to talk to people every single day, but like the love is still there. Mm, so yeah. true. So you just take, courage, take a deep breath, have some courage and reach out. What's the worst they're going to do? Like not open your text, text someone else then. Simple as that. <laughs> Love that. Um, thank you for joining me on Zoom. Oh, it's been great. It's been great. Young youth, we just want to encourage you to like, don't feel like you can't make new friends in this time. Like mm. I've actually, I've made a new friend in this time. It's been great. Me too. Love have we that. made the same friend? Should we say their name on three? <laughs> <laughs> Are you making new best friends without me? <laughs> oh God, what? No, no, this is just a friend. Oh, I love that. <laughs> wow. But like, it yeah, it's only, a really good thing. It came out of she messaged me and was like, "Hey, I normally see you around the office, but we don't normally talk. Let should we go for a socially distant walk?" And that was that. And it was lovely. And it was really sweet. And it was a little oh, bit I made awkward, a different kind of friend. Nice. <laughs> uh, I've been a friend through the gaming space. I don't game, oh, but um, yes. HTV Youth game yes. three times a week, and sometimes I hop onto that. And I've made a new friend, and it's great. 
Come on, big up. Definitely. <laughs> big up, Max. Shout out if you're ever watching this. You're a G. Big up, Metro. But yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. So it's not too... Just because we're in lockdown doesn't mean that you have to lose friends. You can maintain yeah. friendships, but you can also widen your community circle. And just remember mm. that, like, God at his very nature, he is community. He is three mm. in one. So he wants us to be in community um, yeah. because we're made in his image. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, Jazz. Thanks, Jess. Jess oh and Jess, God. coming at you. Leave and get the ding dong. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Guys, this has been so great, but I'm going to go just so we can have a cute little aesthetic sound. <laughs> this has been so fun. Now. If it doesn't Hopefully do the see sound. see you all soon. Then we'll just cut it. <laughs> now that we've said that, Aaron's probably going to put it in. Oh gosh, I'm thinking too. <laughs> it was great to talk to you guys. We'll see you around. Bye. Jazz, thank you so much for taking time to jump on that Zoom call with me and having that conversation. Now, if you haven't already, why don't you open your Young Youth Journals for the week and explore some of the sections. Now, at the end, there's a space for, um, if you want to, to reach out to a friend that you haven't spoken to in a while and to reflect on how it made you feel, if it, um, how, how that conversation went. Now, Young Youth, I would really encourage you to take the time to go through this slowly and to reflect on it every step of the way. Maybe you want to read the question and go away and come back to it. And I would also really encourage you, don't just, um, don't just text your best friend that you kind of talk to all the time, but take some time and ask God and say, God, who do you want me to contact? Who do you want me to reach out to? Who do you want me to encourage? Because actually, I think there's, there's always those people that you see in the corridors at school that you kind of nod to, that you haven't had that for long conversation with yet. Lockdown is actually a great time to do that, I think. I've spoken to a lot of people from work that I wouldn't normally speak to every day in the office. And I think lockdown is a great chance to make new connections, build new um, community and to kind of spread your community even wider. So be bold this week, younger youth. And um, I encourage you, and I'm talking to myself here as well, don't just go for the easy option, but stretch yourself, push yourself and be bold. Young youth, I hope that you have a lovely week and know that we are all praying for you and for your families. And if you if you ever want prayer for something specific, then just DM us at HGB Youth on Instagram or get your parents or carers to email us. Have a lovely week, young youth. See you soon.